Okay, thank you everyone for joining. Today we are going to be talking about ROGTK's uh, buying presentation and our listing presentation. Uh, there's a couple new features to know about these products, so I'm really excited to get started. I've been working on these super hard, so I hope you guys like them and I'm really anxious to hear your thoughts. So I'm just going to start sharing my screen. All righty. We're going to start with the listing presentation because this is the packet that you guys are most familiar with. Um, you will notice that the title page has changed and I do have four different title pages for you guys to be able to choose from and we can always edit these um, with a picture of a house that you recently sold or a different city if you wanted to see that. Whatever works for you guys. Um, the cool thing about these listing presentations is that they are completely customizable so we can do whatever you want you can take out pages you can put in pages you can change layouts and all of that stuff um, just ask me and i'm happy to make that happen for you and of course our most exciting new update with the new plps is that they are no longer a charge to you guys so these are completely free just like the rest of your marketing materials i know that a lot of you um, probably remembered when we charged for these um, but we are no longer doing that. These are just going to be like any other marketing material we offer you. Um, just reach out, ask me, and I'm happy to make them for you. So onto the title page. Again, we have four different title pages for you guys to choose from. They are all branded to you. So you can see at the bottom, you'll have your name, uh, phone number, and your email address. And then you'll have Realty One Group Turnkey and our office address. Your name will go here and it'll say listing presentation for all your real estate needs. Of course, we can change that one liner depending on what you um, decide to say. So like if I was using Rhonda Hazy, for example, um, this might say your experience matters. I'm here to help. Right. So we can always change that one liner to make it more branded to you. So this first title page is obviously downtown Tacoma. We also have one of Mount Rainier and the Tacoma Dome. Um, along with the downtown Tacoma uh, Bridge in the area. Uh, this one is of Gig Harbor, kind of looking at Tacoma from the Gig Harbor side. So this is our downtown Gig Harbor for all of our Gig Harbor agents. And then, of course, if you're working up towards Seattle, we have the Space Needle. So again, these pictures are completely customizable. So if you really work mainly in Shelton and you want a picture of Shelton, we can make that happen for you. Or Bremerton, the Bremerton Waterway. We can definitely make that happen. You want a home you just recently sold. Anything you guys want, anything you want to request, I'm happy to do for you, so just let me know. All right, moving on to your bio page. Again, you'll see that this branding continues throughout your packet so that at any point when your sellers are going through this packet, they can kind of look at it and go, okay, well, there's our contact info. Let's give them a call when I have a question. This is going to be where you put your bio. It's already branded up here. So we have our Realty One Group turnkey branding. We'll have your name, your picture, and your bio. Uh, one of the things to note about this specifically is just to make your bio personal and authentic. Um, people are going to know when you're sitting down with them and they're interviewing you to be their agent. They're going to know you're a real estate agent. They're going to know you're successful, right? So people enjoy getting to know you. So make it more personal. Um, all real estate agents are professional. So what makes you stand out? What makes you different? Um, so I think that's super important just to add a little personal touch so that your clients feel like they're getting to know you. Then we move on to our team. So this is your team page. Um, it has uh, Craig, Isaac, Kim, Sarah, and myself. We um, This is your team at ROGTK. So if you feel like your clients would appreciate getting to know um, who's kind of backing you up, who's helping you throughout the transaction, who's marketing your listing, um, who's answering your questions, all of that good stuff. You can hand them this page and so that they feel like they know more people at ROGDK just besides yourself, right? Then we move into the testimonials page. Um, so this is really important. One of the things that I will ask you for when you reach out to me and ask me to make a pre-listing packet or a buying packet for you is I will ask you for four testimonials. Um, these testimonials, make sure they are good and like they're pretty clear and, and they um, are really detailed, right? The other thing you're gonna want, let's say you're asking for a pre-listing packet and a buying packet. Um, you can definitely use the same testimonials. There's nothing wrong with that. You could switch them in and out. 
But because we have both of these packets readily available, I would suggest if you are doing your listing packet to do testimonials about listing homes, right? And if you're doing your buyer's packet to do about buying homes. So that's just something to keep in mind. But like I said, you can do two um, from sellers and two from buyers and then just keep the same four um, throughout. But if you have enough testimonials, I would suggest making that change just to make them a little different. Then we have the communication guarantee page. Um, so if you include this page, you have to stick to it. This communication guarantee says that you will provide feedback within 48 hours of showing and that you will return all phone calls, texts, and emails within 24 hours. We can change this to be, I will respond to phone calls, texts, and emails within 48 hours. Um, you can also remove the page completely. If you don't feel like you can adhere to it or you're worried something might come up, just it's better to completely take out the page altogether and then surprise your clients uh, by responding quickly than to give them this communication guarantee and then not respond quickly. So just make sure that it's something you actually are willing to do before you hand this page to your clients. Then we're gonna move on to the marketing plan. So this is gonna to explain to your clients how you're gonna determine the list price for their home, um, what CMAs are and the different marketing for your listing. So you're gonna just kind of see some facts and how you you are going to help them market their home the best way possible. And then we'll move on to your signs and your property flyers that you offer. So they'll see an example of the sign that you use and they'll see an example of your listing flyers. They will also come to this next page and see examples of your social media posts. Um, again, we have this blurb in here that I will be sharing your listing on my social media platforms. If you feel like that's not something that you're gonna do, just let me know and I'm happy to take that out. We are going to share them anyway, so there's gonna still typically be over about 3.5K impressions on Facebook and Instagram, even if you don't necessarily share them on your own social media. Just let me know because you don't, again, you don't wanna include something that you're not going to adhere to later. Um, and then we'll have a picture of your website as well. Then we have move on to the one purpose. So opening doors across the globe, a little bit about us as a whole, why one, why you should work or with Realty One Group, um, why you can trust Realty One Group agents. And then of course we have the COVID-19 page, which we are moving away from COVID-19, um, but some people are still very concerned. So you can include this page. So, you know, concerned about how it can affect your listing. This is what I'm gonna do to make sure that everything is disinfected. This is what I'm gonna to do to make sure that you stay safe and away from um, getting sick, right? And that's the end of our listing packet. So we'll move on to the buyer's packet. All right, so you'll see these kind of go hand in hand, right? We wanna have that consistency over your branding. So again, you have the same four title pages, same bio page, same meet our team, same testimonials, and the same communication guarantee. This is the first page where it kind of starts to be a little bit different. So this page is the why buy section. So this is just a full chart showing you how much renters are going to spend over a period of time. So if you're looking at like a $2,200 rent and you're in the home for 15 years, I mean, you're paying almost $400,000 just in rent alone and none of that money is coming back to you. So this is a good way to talk to your potential buyers if somebody's kind of on the fence, like, oh, if we should rent for another year, or maybe we should buy, show them this chart and be like, hey, look at how much, how long have you lived here and how much you've already spent. That money could have been building in your equity, right? So I think it's important to have this just because some people are really like hard numbers and they want to see it right in front of them. So I think this is a nice chart to have to be able to go, yeah, okay, like, I'm not gonna spend another 10, 15 years renting. I'd rather just buy now. Then we move on to common terms. So sometimes as agents, we kind of use terms that we understand and we don't really think of, about if our clients understand them. So I included two pages of a list of definitions and terminology so that your buyers feel like they have a full understanding of all the common terminology that's used throughout the buying process. 
So I think that's important. And you can sit down with your clients and talk about these. They are in alphabetical order, so they shouldn't have any problem kind of navigating. And then, of course, we have like your question. If they have any questions, you're happy to provide definitions and help you understand them. All right. This is our newest page to our buyer's packet. We just had our meeting on septics a few weeks ago, and I thought that was going to be something really good that we should put into our buyer's packet, specifically for the agents working in Gig Harbor or the surrounding areas. Those are really important because I personally have never lived anywhere that didn't have a septic, and I'm on the Gig Harbor side of the bridge, but I know a lot of our Tacoma agents have never dealt in a septic, like selling a home with a septic, right? So it just depends on if um, where you're selling, right? If you know your agent or your client is going to be primarily searching for homes in North Tacoma, this might be a page that you want to remove. If you know they're searching in Bremerton or Port Orchard, this is a page you're definitely going to want to leave in there, especially if they are moving from an area that they weren't living on a septic, right? So this makes you kind of stand out, makes you a little bit more knowledgeable, and it kind of puts you like ahead of the other agents that maybe didn't present something like that. All right. Next, we move on to the buyer's roadmap. This is my personal favorite page. Um, when I was buying, I really didn't know where I was at in the process. Um, I mean, I could always reach out to um, my real estate agent, who was Isaac. I could always reach out to him and ask. But eventually, I kind of felt like I was like, oh, I don't want to bother him. <laughs> like, you know, he's doing so much. I don't want to keep um, asking him questions. So I think this would be really helpful for someone like me that um, didn't know exactly where I was at in the process. Like, if I had my inspections ordered, what was the next step? So this is just like a full page dedicated to telling them exactly where they're at in the process. So if your loan was improved, here's our next step. And then we move on to closing disclosures. And then we're going to do the signing appointment. You know, just keeping your buyers informed without actually having to, you know, communicate back and forth with them every day is, I think, super important. And it makes them feel like they're learning the process just like right along with you. All right. And then moving on. We're doing the 10 steps to buying a home. So this is just an easy 10 step kind of thing. Uh, I, I don't even know what I'm trying to say here. 10 steps to buying your home. Um, it's also gonna explain CMAs. It's gonna show you what to do when you schedule your move. Um, so right after signing four, three, two, and one week to the move. So I have it listed out in almost like a table of contents up here. And then as you move through, you can see, you know, you're going to prepare your finances, what you want to do to prepare your finances, getting pre-approved, starting home shopping. Here's some things to look at in a home and like some little things in there that you might not necessarily think of when you're home shopping, right? So like testing the plumbing, testing the electricity, um, opening and closing the windows and doors, make sure they work properly, like little things like that before you make an offer, um, taking pictures and videos and all that good stuff. Um, this is going to be make an offer. So this kind of ex like explains like the offer writing process. So that if you do have a buyer that, you know, a first time home buyer that's never bought a home before, now they're going to know, okay, well, this is what could happen. They can accept, they can decline, or they can present a counter offer. And then if we accept, great. If they offer a counter offer, then this is what we're going to do. Um, then we'll order the inspection and negotiate. We'll order the appraisal. And then here's what I was talking about with what you're going to do after signing four weeks to the move, three weeks to the move, two weeks, and one week. Um, so this just, again, kind of walks your buyers through the process so that you don't have to necessarily repeat yourself. They already have it all written in front of them, which is super helpful for you guys. And again, presenting something like this to your clients at a buyer's consultation when you guys are just kind of talking and they're searching around for agents. If you show up with this and the other agents show up with nothing, I mean, that already puts you one step ahead of everybody else, right? And then we have closing day. So number 10 is closing day. You're gonna, we're talking about closing day, closing disclosures, the final walk through. This is actually two pages. So we have closing costs, what to bring and receiving your keys. So again, we're walking your buyers through the process of what closing day is going to look like for them. 
and then the dreaded things to avoid during closing. So this way, your clients can have absolutely no excuse if they went and bought a car, <laughs> like they knew what was going to happen, right? Um, so it's important that we put this stuff in here because you can tell them, right? But now they have it in writing right in front of them. This is what you should absolutely not do if you are about to close on a home. Um, and of course, you want to repeat that information when you're meeting with them. Just be like, hey, when we're closing, don't do this, that, or the other thing. But here is it is in writing, just in case you forget, you've got it in your buying packet. And then we move back into the one purpose, Y1, and of course, our COVID-19 protocol. Again, all of these pages are completely editable. So, excuse me, edible, ed editable. Oh my gosh, I'm not a great one. Um, but they, you can change and customize however you want um, you just have to reach out and ask. That is something that I'm happy to do for you guys. Um, and it can, we can add pages too. So for Isaacs, I just did a PLP for him. And one of the things he wanted to include that he'll sometimes do for clients is like clean, he'll hire a cleaning crew and a landscaping crew. So he said that he wanted me to include a page like that. So I made it happen. And we created a an entire page dedicated to Here's what I'm going to do for you as my client. I'm hiring this cleaning crew and I'm hiring these landscapers. So we made a page specific to him that was like for his business, right? So we can do all of that for you guys as well. Um, and if you have any other pages that you're looking and you're kind of like, hey, I think this would be helpful for everyone. So when we had that septic meeting, I decided I'm going to go ahead and add a septic page to our buying packet because I thought that was really important to be able to have, um, especially for somebody that didn't necessarily come from a home with a septic system and then moving into a home with a septic system, it's a lot different than living on sewer, right? So it, if you think of any pages like that, that could be useful to everyone, um, doesn't matter if it's listing or buying, just let me know um, what it is and give me a little information and I'm happy to add any of those pages um, to our templates. So, if you ask me to make a pre-listing or buying packet, those are the templates that you will get. And if you um, wanna change them, I will. that's like what I will automatically make is that template for you, along with your testimonials in your bio. And if you wanna change it, perfectly fine. I'll send you that template so you can kind of take a look. And then if you say, hey, I wanna add this page, I wanna take this one out, we can do that. You're welcome to add or remove any pages that you want that are coming in the template. So if the COVID-19 procedures don't like, you don't, you're not gonna adhere to those, take them out. It's totally fine. We'd rather you take out pages that you're not going to adhere to instead of presenting pages like the communication guarantee um, and not following through, right? So does anyone have any questions that I can answer right now? Well, really short meeting today. Um, I really, like I said, these are completely free and I really want you guys to stand out amongst the competition. So if you ever need one of these, please feel free to let me know. I'm happy to make them for you. Um, so I'm really excited. I, I have had an influx of people asking me for these. So hopefully this gets the word out a little bit more and I am excited to start creating you guys some really branded PLPs and buyer's packets. So let me know if you need one or any pages that you want me to include, and I'm happy to do so. So thanks, everyone.